Hi everybody, welcome to virtualpool4blog.com I'm playing 10 ball today and I've been playing a little bit this morning and for some reason today I just haven't got my eye in at all in fact so bad that I didn't even bother going to the pool club like I usually do on a Sunday because I was just playing so crap <laughs> there's no point um, nothing's going on. so in this video I'm going to try that could be a problem Ooh, I think I've just got away with it Try and focus a little bit to get myself. Hmm. Need to hit the 10 here just to hold the white. Green is tricky. I'm probably going to have to just sort of float the white just past to just about level where the 10 is. And I've hit that too hard. That's got a good couple of balls lengths further than I wanted, but I've left myself a cut shot. Taking a bit more time over it, because when you're playing badly, you've got to try and play yourself out of it, really. That's the only way you can do it. Some days, as you know, we can flow and play really well. Other days we can't. No, I didn't mean to do that. So now we're going to play right top right hand side. Miss the 10, oh no. The only thing you've got to do is miss the 10 ball. Dear dear. Right, so we're struggling a bit here. Need to. Just got that in and got a lucky kiss on the 10. So it's kind of tricky, but we've got a call shot on the 10 ball, remember? I think in real life you call shot. You call shot everything. Whoops. Nearly. Hello. I like to amplify the break in 10 ball because it's hard to get a full thwack of the balls. That was close. 5 and 10 have stuck together, which means a potential combination. I'm just going to turn my phone out to silence so you guys don't get disturbed by the many women who call me for favours. Well, that's three good drop and that will be helpful for me and that's unlucky for the computer that looks like a foul to me and it is so where can the five go Ooh. or does the do we have a combination we do have a combination so what I'm going to do with this one is screw back just a, a tad because I want to be hitting this one thin across it to get this, this 10 like ah miss oh crap got to call it stupid god's sake dippy fool that's good though because it shows that the rules are right and I forgot all about it god damn That's what I'd recommend you guys do, actually, when you're playing these other games. Play these games, and when you make a mistake like that, it reminds you on the rules, which is always worth doing. Um, this rack has gone... It's awkward, mainly because of the fall ball. Mm, probably I can get these. If you can solve the puzzle of the four, which I think I can, I need to stun this over. Um, I thought I would hit that six. I need to hit this, but it's going to have to be thick, which is good because it's my natural shot. I'm happy with that.
Don't forget to call it. Two one to me. That was a nice rack, that one. If you want to see a good rack, you can always replay that one. Oh, got a few down. And have we got a shot on the one wall? Don't know if we have. It's a bit unlucky, actually. We cut it. Let's have a try cut. Need a bit of luck. Got a bit of luck. So I seem to have got my eye in a little bit after playing some pretty dreadful pool. A little bit of left here to check off the back cushion. And then we have the call shot in the bottom corner. Lined it up carefully and executed. That's good stuff. So two Brecken runs, which is always good. And uh not much of a shot on the one ball again. I'm probably going to go for the double. No, I'm not. I'm going to try and get the white down by the ten ball here. I need it to get behind it though, so that's not a good shot. Nice white, but not on this standard. If computer opponent, you can easily run out here. And probably will, given the score line. Well, the black's in the way of the natural angle here. So we played it with a bit of check side and did it really well. Now the nine's been kicked to a safe position. Now this is all about speed control and I don't think he's got it. That was a hard shot to play. He's going to jump it. Of course he got it. <laughs> nice one out. Against a lot of players, you would get a chance there, but um, not this time. So we have another chance. No, no, ma no major problems here. Nine to the ten's a bit tricky. Now the 5 to the 6 is a bit tricky and that's all my own fault. That is lovely. That is not lovely. So let's try and... Oh, that was horrible. <laughs> I was trying to screw him by the black and I just completely blew it. Curly's not missing much. But I'm not sure if he's missed anything yet. I think it's been a pretty nice standard game. Right, so we have... I need to slow down. Slow down. Call that one precision. Oh, what is that? What is that? I'm losing the white. Oh crap. So I'm doing a good job of throwing this one away. Curly continues to pot everything in front of him, which is. This one's a tough shot. Not guaranteed to leave much. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Ricochet. So, starting to see this match slip away a little bit. Curly just plodding on, not missing anything. Let's 
sourced enough, but it's okay. So another run out. This has happened before. I've played matches before against Curly where he just literally pots everything, I get no shot. That could be enough. No, it's a great shot. Sick. Oh, look at this. Might not get another shot, here, guys. Might not get another shot. Oh, another. Right, I'm going to hand that back. It's purely because I'm a bit shell shocked after a nice kicking. If he gets a snooker here, I really am in trouble. Right, that doesn't go, so I need to try and snooker him behind the two ball. So, that's a good shot. Oh no. Wow, too, too good. Too good. Sometimes you just got to hold your hat off to your opponent and say, too good, sir. Sometimes it is. This game certainly has been, I'm afraid. Not much I could do here. Yeah, too good. So I lost 7-3. Um, didn't play very well, but Curly played really well. Um, so I'll have to live to fight another day. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.